Hi, and uh, welcome back to Brut Brutally Honest Gaming. I am the Brutally Honest Gamer, and I'm going to review my Sega Saturn. Uh, my Sega Saturn is probably uh, one of my favorite systems of all time. Uh, this is actually the third one that I'm on right now. Unfortunately, uh, my big collection I had to get rid of, so I'm rebuilding. And on a side note, if you watch the intro, uh, you'll you'll want to, um, or you'll already know that the main reason for reviewing Saturn stuff is to try try to compile a database of what import games can be played without knowing a whole lot of the Japanese language. Uh, I do have one import game, on Dead or Alive, and I'll review that separate. But right now. I want to focus on the Saturn. The Sega Saturn, let's get the controller up there, uh, was the Sega's entry into the 32-bit, uh, their real entry, I should say, into the 32-bit, uh, basically to compete with 3DO and the PlayStation 1 at the time. Uh, the N N64 was a little bit of ways yet, uh, but <clears throat> it was a good system, uh, in my opinion. Uh, some of the main problems with it, though, are basically just Sega itself. Uh, they released the Sega CD, uh, the Genesis add-on, and then decided to release a 32X add-on. And I guess the, the way the story goes is a lot of uh, Sega's customers were pretty PO'd. They had spent money on two systems that really had short lifespans. Uh, with the 32X having a really short lifespan. Um, why would anybody put their money into a system that a company is not going to support? Uh, so right off the bat, this system was already not winning the hearts of, of players over. Uh, the other thing was basically the hardware. Uh, the hardware was just too damn difficult to to code for unless you knew exactly what was going on. The <clears throat> processor, there was two of them, um, kind of like what Atari did with the Jaguar, just had way too much crap under the hood <clears throat> that people couldn't figure out. Now the games that people could do were actually very good once they got the hang of it. Some of the early games looked like shit. Uh, but once the, the system got a little older, like many systems, when people become familiar with the hardware, uh, then you, you get some real gems that come out of the system. Well, first of all, this is the US version. As you can see, it has your eject button, power, and reset right there. Uh, there's two controller ports on the front. And overall, it's a good looking system. I like the design of it. It's pretty sleek. It's kind of big, but really not that bad. Uh, the cart in the back for memory. Uh, I have an action replay. Plus, anybody that gets a Saturn is going to want this. Uh, it's uh, pretty much a must have. It allows you to play the import games. Plus, a lot of the really good 2D fighters do require expansion packs. And there's some other games, kind of like Metal Slug, that require expansion packs too. Uh, this does it all. It's a, an all-in-one cart. So definitely want to pick that up if you plan on buying any Saturn stuff or playing Saturn. Uh, the back of it. You got your normal plugs to the TV, to the power. I believe that's another, uh, that's for that Sega internet thing that they tried with the Saturn that didn't really go too far and then here is where the backup battery is uh, so if you ever have to replace it that's where uh, that is as far as the games go I whenever I was growing up uh, the Saturn was my favorite of that era I had a PS1 I had an N64 but I always went back to the Saturn uh, it was a 2d powerhouse that's what Sega intended it to be which is why a lot of the 3D games are not on the Saturn and the ones that they do share with the PS1, uh, the PS1 can do it a little bit better. Uh, but when it comes to 2D games, especially games that use the RAM cart, uh, PlayStation 1 
it's not even comparable. The Saturn just blows it away. And basically, I, Sega was unsure of the push for 3D at the time. Uh, it was pretty... Eh, it was up and coming. They still thought that 2D was where it was at. Uh, obviously, they were wrong with the success of the PS1 and all their 3D games. But overall, it's a very good system. I like the system. It's sleek. It looks good. It has a great library of games. And it has a ton of import games. This system lasted, I believe, two years longer in Japan. It had a much bigger fan base over in Japan. And therefore, it does open up the door for some games, though. Because a lot of the games that I've had in the past and that I think I'm getting in the mail um, are, are fine. Uh, like Dead or Alive, you'll see in a, in a, when I review that game. Uh, you need to know nothing about Japanese. It's perfectly fine, and it's cheap. A lot of the import games are cheaper than the domestic counterparts. So overall, I give the Saturn a thumbs up. It's a great system with great graphics. I'll power it up. Yep, let me turn. Yes, that's the Laserdisc player. I also collect movies. And there's the Saturn boot up. Perfect. See you guys later.